to Lady Scorpius Tarot. I'm your host, Lady Scorpius. Today, we're going to be doing something different, you guys. I wanted to do something fun and different. I'm going to be doing a business and career reading. Um, This would be just a three-card general reading, okay? Something quick, maybe five or ten minutes. Um, And just to do something different for you guys, I'm going to be using a business and career deck that you guys probably have never seen on um, YouTube um, because I got it from somebody special, someone that was um in my area that created this deck, okay? So if you guys like this deck and you would like for me to come back and do more quick uh, financial and career or business and career readings let me know in the comments below okay give me a thumbs up if it resonates leave a comment okay and like i said i also offer career uh and business readings on my website so if you guys are interested in that check that out as well okay so let's get into it we're going to be doing it um based on the elements so now we're on to earth uh i just did the water sign scorpio cancer pisces so now we're going to be doing earth which is towards virgo and capricorn we're going to be doing it as a collective reading for the month of september okay Universal Spirit, Angels, and Sending God to Masters, please give me messages for my uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn when it comes to business and career. What messages do you have for my Taurus Virgo Capricorn for the month of September 2021 when it comes to career and business? I ask speaking messages I love, light, and clarity. What message should they know when it comes to their career and their business? Uh, what should they prepare for for career and business? Scorpio, I'm sorry, Taurus Virgo Capricorn. <laughs> For the month of September 2021, towards Virgo Capricorn for career and business, what should they know? What's coming towards them as a collective earth signs towards Virgo and Capricorn? Spirit, give me three cards for my earth signs towards Virgo and Capricorn. What message do you have for my towards Virgo and Capricorn for the month of September 2021? For their business and career, give me a message for my towards Virgo Capricorn for business and career. What message do you have for them for the month of September 2021? Earth signs. Okay. Okay. Mm, okay. Good energy. The over energy, you guys. It's a beautiful card, as you can see. Look at her. She's sitting pretty, honey. This is brand director. This woman has been through a lot. You know, she might even have a brand of her own. She went through harassment at work. On her job, you know, even with like even trying to get out there and sell her brand, maybe people could have hit on her, but she went through a lot of challenges. She's almost like the empress, okay, in the regular tarot, traditional tarot. This is like the empress in business. Like she's been through a lot. She's very balanced with her emotions. She's very balanced and fair when it comes to business. Okay, she loves her work. She puts her all into her work. So I feel like a lot of you guys right now have a brand. You could be a brand director. You have your own brand that you have maybe been in the game for for years or been doing this, uh, selling this brand or advertising this brand or producing this brand for a long time. Okay, so it's like you have experience. Okay, every science. And I feel like you're abundant right now. Like you're sitting pretty. You have a lot of plans. Like spirit has guided you to do this because this was in your destiny to create this type of brand. Okay, but I do feel like some of you guys are definitely sitting good or you're wanting to sit good this is like the overall energy you're wanting to sit really pretty you're wanting to be this brand director you're wanting to make sure that your brand is established you want to make a name for yourself as well okay and you just want to be very passionate and you want to love the things that you do when it comes to your business your career okay this can be careers um, as well for some of you guys if it's not a brand some of you guys might have a career and you branch that off and create your own brand from a career okay so take what resonates the first call we have is uh the six of brand in reverse we have phil philanthropy and then we have money nine, okay? So I feel like some of you guys, you have a brand that you truly love, okay? This brand, this is like a soulmate connection to your brand. Like, it's destiny, okay? Like, this brand actually helps other people. But I feel like some of you guys are not really, really invested or going out, stepping out with your brand like you could, okay? When you see the Six of Cups up right, it's like... This is you advertising your brand. This is you sharing your brand. This is you even connecting with people. Even people from the past that will always remember you because of the love or the energy or the help that your brand brought to their life, okay? Like, your brand can be, like, maybe a health. Like, say if you guys are into, like, health care, you or uh, health and beauty products. Say if you have, like, you know a skincare brand or something like that. You know, this is people loving your brand because it actually brings healing to them. It's something they love. It's something they share amongst other people. And it's a divine connection, okay? It's a divine connection between multiple people from your brand. Like, you created these divine connections based on your brand and the love you have for your own brand. But it's in reverse. So I feel like some of you guys are needed to actually open up more and express your love for your brand to more people maybe socialize socialize with more people maybe advertise your brand a little bit more maybe some of you guys can pay for advertisement i feel like you're not putting much investment into your brand as far as marketing 
like you should, okay? I feel like maybe it could also be somebody that's around you right now. It could be a soulmate that you have around you that does not see the vision. You might feel like, hey, I'm this brand director right now, and I want to have what I want to have, and I know I can have what I want to have, but I don't have that soulmate that's willing to back me up and support my dreams and my vision. So also, this could be for some of you guys that you could be in a soulmate partnership, and this person sees that you have a lot of love and passion for your business, but they're not connected, okay? They're not fully invested into your business like you would like them to be, because if they invest a little bit more into your business and business can boom. Maybe you'll have more money for advertisement. You'll have more money for drop shipping. You'll have more money for products or creating new new products or whatever the case may be, okay? You might have more, um, you might have, um, you might have even help like with, um, say if you have like events or you do anything that might help even that out. Okay. If your partner is more invested, you know, into your brand and supporting you through your brand. But I do feel like for some of you guys, you could be with a partnership in a partnership or a soulmate that does not truly support your brand like how you do and how you do. And you would like for them to do more. Okay. Or invest into your brand or whatever the case may be, because we have philanthropy. So some of you guys are definitely wanting to people to invest into your brand. So maybe some of you guys are needing to, uh, maybe search for investors, angel investors, or talk to different people that you have met in a form of business, okay? Because once you do that, you know, you might run into somebody that's willing to invest into your business or give back, okay? Also, if you guys wanted to get into philanthropy work with your business and your brand, this will actually bring in a lucrative amount of money for you. So say if you guys do have like some type of healthcare product or maybe you might sell shirts or you might have a clothing brand. If you get into some type of like philanthropy work such as donate your brand or don donate your products to like maybe a nonprofit or maybe something like that or to the homeless or whatever the case may be, or just set up shop somewhere, or go to a festival, give out free samples, whatever the case may be, you might meet people just by your philanthropy work of giving back of service, okay? Just giving giving back, doing good services, good, good deeds to the community. You might meet a philanthropist in that form of act, okay? So some of you guys are definitely to branch out there. And if you have a product, get into philanthropy work, okay, with your brand. So, you know, like I said, connect with like homeless shelters, connect with businesses, connect with different people where you can kind of just give them a few samples of your stuff or give away some stuff for free. Maybe some of you guys can even connect with homeless shelters or uh, child sh child care shelters, children's shelters, and give them some free merch, okay? And this will help bring in opportunities to create more money and lucrative money for you because we have the, the money nine. So some of you guys are definitely like, this is you being abundant with money. With the money nine, it's like, you eating good. Some of you guys, if you do this philanthropy work, I'm telling you, you're going to meet some new business partners that's going to really invest into your work. Rather, if, it is, if it's not this soulmate that's not investing, once you get out here and you branch off and meet these big boys, you would definitely meet people that's got, that got money and they're going to want to do business deals with you. They're going to want to have like business dinners. You might be traveling for work. You might have to meet, meet investors outside of your state for some of you guys, but I do feel like you are abundant right now. If you get into this uh, philanthropy work, you have great ideas, okay, as a brand director. If you guys step into your your creative power and put more energy into really really uh branding your your brand branding your uh your product or your brand and um you know getting out there and doing philanthropy work you will meet some really really great people that has money to invest okay and they will actually invite you out for business dinners business meetings conferences but i do feel like some of you guys could be also traveling or needing to travel in order to get this money and i do feel money is coming in from a lot of my earth signs okay you're sitting good some of you guys can actually be traveling and making money while traveling okay or could be selling products while you're traveling. So let me know what resonates. But this is what I have for you guys. It's a beautiful reading, but just a few minor adjustments. But let me know if they resonate. Leave a comment below, and I will see you guys next month. Peace.